Hey everyone and welcome to another Kirby video. In this video I want to talk about helpers. Where can we put helper functions in Kirby to clean up our code? For example to clean up our template code but also controller code or wherever you write code in Kirby you might get to that point where you feel like oh, I really wish I could put this into a helper function or some, some other place to clean it up. And this is what I want to show you. So let me give a quick example how this might look in a real project. Um, what I want to do is I want to load some icons um, and I want to load them from assets icons from the icons folder and I have already downloaded um, two icons that I want to play with and I want to get them into my template. I have um, downloaded and installed the plane kit as you've just seen in the browser and the plane, plane kit's default template is really plain and just has the headline in there. So now how do I get my icons from my assets folder into here? There's already a short video about that, um, about how to load um, yeah, icons or other assets in, in the template. When what we can do here is use one of our helpers. We have a couple helpers on board already that help you to clean up your templates or keep the templates really short and simple. And one of those is our um, SVG helper. And the SVG helper will inline SVG code for you and you just have to point it to the file where uh, that it should be loading. So in this case it should load the git SVG from our icon folder. This always starts at the at the root or at the public folder of your installation and then from there on you can load it like this. The icon that I downloaded does not have a width and a height so it's huge if I load it like this without any CSS and I want to have a bit more control over those particular icons because I want to style them yeah, separately from any other icon that I might include later so I will put a wrapper around it and this is where it starts to get a bit messy um, I have a couple pieces that I need to set up so um, in this case I want to make sure that all SVG icons within the icon wrapper will get a certain width and also a certain height. And this is the kind of code that I'm using here to create this. And if I want to use another icon, my HTML icon, I have to repeat the code here. So the first typical approach to do uh, to clean this up would be a snippet. I could copy, copy and paste this and put it into a new icon snippet and clean it up like that. Oops. I can .php and I paste it there. And now I can delete this and replace it with a snippet. We had that before in another video as well, but just to repeat it here, this is also a very approachable way to do this. But now um, how do I get my type of icon specified for each I have to put something like this here and then repeat it again here and use HTML. And now I also have to adjust my snippet and use the new type variable inside here to change the path to the um, SVG file. Works as, expe uh, as expected and is actually a, a really nice way to do it. But what I want to achieve now in this example is I want to be able to just write this and then just write this. So this should be my helper function. I want an icon helper function. Where do we put this? Well, the easiest way to put it is in a new plugin and plugins might sound intimidating, but they can be really, really simple. So we have a plugins folder inside the site folder. If it's not there yet, just create it. And then inside the plugins folder, create a new subfolder. In this case, I want to call it helpers. That's the name of the plugin. And inside that folder, I will create an index.php. That is the most basic plugin type that you can build in Kirby. And it does not have to be any more fancy than this. You don't have to extend the core. You don't have to look into ways to extend the panel or how to create certain methods or extension types. Um, all you have to do in your simplest, simplest um, most basic form of plugin is to create an index.php and then Kirby will load this for you and you can put any kind of PHP code inside 
that index.php. So here I can now define my icon function. It looks like this. And I have an argument for it because I want to pass the type to it. And so now I would create um, a way to load my, um, my icon here. Since we already have the snippet, what we can do now is to use our snippet helper, which is also a sort of helper, basically, um, to load a snippet. And we, could, we can do the same thing that we just did before here in, let me go back, that, that we just did before here in the template. We can just paste this over to our plugin and then change type. So we get the type as an argument, we put it into the snippet um, definition here, and then this should work. Well, actually it shouldn't work because what the snippet helper does is it is loading the snippet actively. So wherever you put this, it will just include the code that is in the snippet, it won't return it. So when we do this, it will probably lead to an error. So what we want to do as well is to say, please return this for me. So we set return to true, and then now the snippet will return the code that comes within the snippet um, as a string. So we can add some type hinting if we want to this to make sure that we always get a string back. And now in our template, we should be able to load our icon just like this. Yes, so nice and, and short and simple. This is now our icon helper. And it could be anything else. Uh, I've used the snippet now inside this. Um, this might be even too compl complicated for whatever you have in mind. You could totally do something else. And return a string. No problem at all. It can be as simple as you like. Just if it is helpful for you, then it's all fine. And you can do whatever you want inside your little helper plugin. Um, you can add as many functions to it as you want. You could even add classes to it. Um, this is the point where it probably starts to get a bit more messy again and you want to look into better ways to structure your code. But for functions, this is totally fine. Just add a library of helper functions. Don't. I, I would suggest not to go too crazy with those. Don't make it like a huge file with tons of functions. Start to organize them if it gets messy again. But um, yeah, this is the way that you can st you can get started, and it is really a, a very helpful way to clean up your code. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.